you are at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $10 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's from Monco Destroyer, who says, Rant about if a show is too vague, you can get anything from it or nothing from it. I think this is a good point, honestly. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, we really do have to exercise thought in approaching things in order to really say how deep it is or how... Uh, like, what the meaning is, right? Like, it shouldn't be taken for granted that just because it's not apparent on the surface doesn't mean it's not there. But it can certainly be the case that you look into something and you're just kind of like, there's nowhere to go. And that's kind of how vagueness is. There was a line in um, in Roni Kenshin where uh, Shishio says something about chaos and, like, thriving in chaos or something like that. And I thought it sounded badass so I had uh, tweeted it and was like, yeah, what a cool line. And then uh, Ghost Lightning responded like, that's not a cool line at all. Like, that line could literally mean anything. And I, I read it back and I was like, yeah, like, the concept of chaos is so vague that, you know, to try to say, oh, chaos is X, you know, um, or, or like, I... I as relates to chaos. It's like, well, chaos could mean practically anything, you know, like, so it, it, it's like, it sounds cool just because chaos is a cool sounding word, you know? And so when you try to make like an aphorism or a, a statement, like, you're always trying to navigate how broad it is um, and how specific, like, the, the, the breadth of the statement versus its impact, let's say. Like, People won't get a joke if it's too obscure, right? Like, you want to make a joke that everybody in the room is going to laugh at, but how do you do that while still referencing something that is not so obvious that everybody would have already made the same observation? That is the difficulty in crafting good aphorisms and good humor, saying something that sounds like anybody could have said it, but nobody did you know, before you did, or nobody nobody really addressed this specific angle on the thing you're talking about. So, like, you know, if I think about, like, uh, good art films, like the, the, the three shorts of Neo Tokyo, um, all of them, well, the first two in particular are pretty abstract. The first one especially is very abstract, but it's definitely specific. Like, it's it could not be taken to mean anything, it's not clear what it means. I would be very hesitant to try and explain it. But, like, when you look at it, when you experience it, when you feel it, there's only a certain range of things, of possibilities, that would enter your mind that you could project onto. And the power in the piece is that, you know, it can mean different things to different people, but it's specific enough that it's not just an obvious sentiment that you've heard expressed a thousand times. It would be trite, you know? So... I think that, uh, you know, pop lyrics are the epitome of trite vagueness, of something that is, you know, as obvious as possible, that has been stated as many times as possible, but just stating it in a, in a catchy, unique way that, you know, is not exactly the way somebody has said those exact words before, you know, but again, it's so vague, you could get anything from it or nothing from it. Um, I guess this is basically what I said about my, my whole Darling in the Franks video. If you never saw Darling in the Franks' is trigger baby mode, I basically dive into this concept hard with that show. So uh, check that out.